in an open guard, we're gonna have both feet on our partner's hips. We're gonna start out with double sleeve grips. Guys, make sure you're using your legs to manage distance. I was telling the kids today, look, if somebody starts crowding you too much and you have your feet on their hips, push them away, okay? Your legs are strong. I know a lot of you guys try to weight press a bunch of plates at the gym, so use your legs, use your strength to your advantage. Have strong grips on the sleeves. I'm flaring my knees out to try and make this difficult for Houston, okay? So, for my first um, move, I'm gonna take my foot out of the hip. I'm gonna go right into a spider guard. My foot's gonna go on the bicep here. If anybody doesn't know how spider guard works, it's generally two feet on the uh, biceps. And I've got one extended, one down, so I'm constantly shifting my hips going over. We're just gonna use one today. So, foot comes out, I go to the bicep, and I'm gonna push up on it. I'm not gonna kick yet, all right? My foot on the hip is gonna drop to the ground. I'm gonna stomp with my foot, and I'm gonna kick up make Houston step up over me. Once he steps over me, my foot on the ground can come up and rotate onto the hip. My foot that's on the bicep can now come over to the hip over here. I can get my ankle lock grip now. And again, drive your hips up to the ceiling and then twist outward. So I'm gonna drive up and out. Once I get to this outside position, sorry, just gonna rotate. If you guys have not been here, you're finished here, two feet on the hips, pinching my knees. And then I want to try to go, remember this is outside, so I want to try to replace my elbow with my shoulder and my head. And I look over my shoulder and I'll get my tap pretty quickly. Guys, make sure you're not just pulling everything back. I actually want my shoulder to go in the place where my elbow was. This makes a big difference on your ankle lock when you're doing it on the outside position, okay? Um, so now we're gonna do one from collar sleeve. Uh, so our, our normal collar sleeve position, we're gonna be in the sleeve and the collar on the same side. You can do this on the other side. Um, it kind of limits your pull. I actually kind of want to get his posture broken on the same side. Normally we would be up, up here on the bicep, but right now I'm gonna opt to go to the hips. Maybe he's just crowding me a little too much and I need the distance management. So we're gonna do basically the same thing. My foot that's on the same side as the sleeve is gonna drop and I'm gonna pull with my grips. And remember, I've got my foot here as an assistance, okay? So I'm gonna pull Houston over me and kick. Throw my foot right onto his hip over here. Now, look, I can always slide my foot down. A lot of you guys are saying, like I'm having a hard time getting the ankle grip because his foot's on the ground. You need to push and get his leg off the ground if you can. Once his leg's off the ground, it's pretty easy to set my grip up. And now I can go back to the hip, drive up, and now put him to his butt. On your finish, everybody. You need the feet on the hips. You need to have your knees pinched. And remember, set your grip beforehand. Don't try to get really deep with your grip, you wanna make sure the blade of your forearm is on his uh, Achilles. So when I do this, I set my grip and I use my other hand to pull and feed the lapel into it. Now it's super tight. And again, on this one, it's less about hip pressure and it's more about replacing my elbow with my head and my shoulder. Look over, get your tap.